Inam the canoe drops an unexpected message after Niger Data Group states rejected Biafran Republic inclusion. And so the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, led by Mazi Inam the canoe, has reiterated that ancient Igbo land encompasses 13 Nigerian states welcoming all who wish to join its vision for an independent homeland. The group also dismissed a recent self-proclaimed declaration in Finland as a deliberate smear campaign aimed at undermining its credibility. And so the group rejected obviously and openly the move made by Simeon Ekba for declaring Biafran Republic in Nibo land. In a statement released by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP's media and publicity secretary, the person of comrade Ima Powerful, the organization labeled the Finland event as a shameless attempt orchestrated by detractors to tarnish the indigenous people of Biafra global reputation. During an interview with News Central, General Musa criticized Simeon Ekpa's manipulative tactics, describing him as an individual who leads a comfortable life abroad while instigating others to engage in harmful and destructive actions. It is unfortunate that someone who claims to champion the cause of his people is causing more harm than good. He enjoys his life of losery while ordinary people in the Southeast are left to bear the brunt of the violence and insecurity he promotes. General Musa stated. And so he makes some instance the sit at home orders enforced by Simeon Ekpa and his supporters have had their consequence for the region's economy and social fabric. Markets, schools, and businesses remain closed on designated days, most especially every Monday of the beginning of a week. This sit at home order takes effect. With non compliance often met with violent repercussions, this has crippled economic activities, especially for daily wage earners and heightened tensions between residents and law enforcement agencies. Additionally, reports of intimidation, harassment, and attacks on those defying 
the others have further exacerbated the sense of insecurity in the region. The fact that a buffoon decided to make a mockery of himself and his sponsors should not become the lens through which the legitimate agitation for Biafra independence championed by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP should be viewed, the IPOP group stated. The organization further alleged that those responsible for promoting the Finland event aimed to derail the indigenous people of Biafra's IPOP mission by creating a false narrative. This, this, this disgraceful episode in Finland by a bunch of Muruns is a shameless attempt to discredit the genuine agitation of the indigenous people of Biafra for an independent homeland for the people of Biafra. The statement read. So now let's see how the impact of the peaceful and unlawful agitation of the Biafran Republic that was declared in Finland. Reiterating its commitment to a peaceful and lawful pursuit of independence, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, stated that no amount of persecution, deceit, or sabotage could derail its mission. The group remains resolute in his belief that the people of Biafra deserves a homeland governed by democratic principles and free from external manipulation. So guys, how do you see to this matter? From the whole analysis, you see that the indigenous people of Biafra, led by Inamdi Kanu's group, are publicly denying Simeon Ekpa and his, and his group agitator that they lack the merit to declare Biafra Republic in the United States of America. So guys, can you share your views on the matter on the section below and also share and subscribe to Bliss channel. Thanks.